This is amazing. Now we have Axolotl to do fine tuning. Axolotl provides a unified repository for fine tuning, a variety of AI models. You can see the models covered here, Mistral, Mixtral, Falcon, Phi, and much more. This supports LoRa, QLoRa, GPTQ. We can load different data sets and use custom formats as well. This is low code fine tuning which means you will just have a text file that is YAML file like this, and then you should be able to trigger your fine tuning. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Axolotl. In this, we are going to fine tune Open Llama 3 billion parameter model. Now, when you ask a question, like give three tips for staying healthy and click compute, it is going to randomly generate some text. But we want to instruction fine tuned which means when we ask it to do a task, it should respond with answer. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this, but before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. Recently, I have partnered with Mast Compute where you can directly deploy or directly create your own instance and it has some custom tools as well. So I'm going to use that and fine tune today. Just in the deploy page, make sure you enter Mervin Prison to get 50% off. And you can see it has 48 GB of RAM, 256 GB storage, six virtual CPU. So I have my instance running here. You can download thin link to access the box directly. Enter the IP address, username, and the password provided from the previous screen, then click connect. This is where you get the username password. And one more thing is that you should be able to directly log into the box by clicking the IP address. I use a ThinLen client to log into my box. Now opening VS Code. In VS Code first, git clone open access AI collective slash axolotl and then click enter. Now navigate to the axolotl folder. Now just axing is it hsh, which is optional. Now just type docker run GPUs all rmit and then the docker image. You can even get that information from axolotl page as you can see here. Using Docker is one of the easiest way to set this up. Now, after typing this, click enter. If you get this permission error, just type these two commands. I will put all this information in the description below. Adding to the Docker group and the new group Docker, just to reinitialize. Now it's all ready. Again, typing the same command, and now it is working. This should automatically download the image, and you'll be able to log in to the Docker folder like this. Now, clear. If you see the examples folder, you have various different large language model which you can fine tune. For now, I'm going to use open llama 3 billion parameter model. So going to open nano examples and then open L llama. Next, qlora.yaml. This is the path I'm going to open and click enter. Now I can see the file got opened. Few things I'm going to modify. I'm going to change the number of epochs to keep this tutorial short just one and batch size one. And this is the folder and the model is going to get saved, qlora hyphen out. You can even change this if you want. Next, need to change the data set. I'm going to use a small data set. It is Alpaca 2000. So once after you update the data set, then you are ready to fine tune. You can see the commands here. Control O to write the file or the save the file and Control X to exit. So I'm going to type Control O, enter and then control X to exit. This is the nano editor. To run the training, you can see the documentation, accelerate launch hyphen M axolotl CLI train, and then the QLora file. So I'm going to do the same here in the terminal and then click enter. Now it is starting. You can see axolotl here. It's downloading the model and the tokenizer. Now it is getting trained. As you can see here, you can see the loss and the learning rate. We need the loss to come down just finalizing and now it's all done. Now we need to log into Hugging Face, Hugging Face hyphen CLI, login and then click enter. Now enter the Hugging Face token, add token, a uh, git credentials and login successful. Now we are ready to upload this to Hugging Face. To upload the model to Hugging Face, just type Hugging Face hyphen CLI, upload, then type the username and then the model path. Next, you're providing the folder where our model got saved. And you can see this is the output directory. That's what I'm using that in the CLI and then clicking enter. 
now it's uploading to hugging face the model now got uploaded and here is the model in hugging face now you can run this model by using these commands you can just copy and run this model now we are going to test the model so i'm going to use the path to our new model asking give three tips for staying healthy and then finally printing response now i'm going to run this code python test.py this will automatically load the model and here is the response for the question give three tips for staying healthy number one eat balanced diet and then it got terminated so probably i might need to train this more just because of the limited time i trained quickly i believe you can do that for longer and let me know in the comments below what you think about this i'm really excited about this i'm going to create more videos similar to this so stay tuned i hope you like this video do like share and subscribe and thanks for watching